down the rapids of a well in a stream in a frail canoe, but these fishermen are really looking for quite a different kind of thrill. A battle with a small mouth, black bass. He's a savage fighter who never quits until he's in the bag. The still quiet pools are also haunts of the bass. And here's a cast that ought to produce. And it does. The expert bait caster isn't deterred by the difficult spot for retrieving a plug. This is just where game fish are likely to be. You'll have to keep him clear of submerged roots or goodbye bass. Success! An expert job! Any fisherman would make a cast into water such as this. It just looks fishy. A bass is notorious for making a sudden rush under a boat, cutting the line and getting free. He's better netting the first time. That's it. It all may be like this. Action every minute. The big ones don't get away. Nobody comes home empty-handed. But there are such fishing places. The fisherman just has to know where to go, what to do, and how to do it when he gets there. The guide in the wall fisherman will travel hundreds of miles for this. He'll hire a guide, rent a canoe, and pay the expenses of a camp. Until each fish he catches will cost him about ten dollars. But of course he doesn't figure this way. If he did, he wouldn't like fishing. There's one with the limit for the day, and it's time to return to camp. Keep this one, but the bass doesn't know it, and he puts up a beautiful fight with action every second, trying to shake that hook loose, battling for freedom right up to the side of the boat, and never quitting until the net makes it hopeless. But they have their limit and let him go. Florida, big tarpon provide thrills. They are the acrobatic stars of salt water. Once they feel the hook in their mouths, they put on a performance never to be forgotten by the sportsmen hanging on and fighting to bring them in. With anywhere from 20 to 75 pounds of fighting fish, it's a battle never it's a battle never won until he's in the boat, and most likely to be lost when close to capture. It's no lightweight they drag aboard. Here's another strike, and characteristically, the big fish tries to stand on his tail. Every flashing leap is to get into the air where he can shake himself so violently that the hook may be dislodged, and often is. It takes skill to outwit him. And it takes muscle and stamina to win against the strength and fury in every inch of this big silvery fighter. A school of small fish is sighted and the bait is trolled nearby. There's a strike. And now in slow motion, the bait can be seen knocked off the hook as the fish leaps clear of the water. It's a great sport. With the excitement multiplied by the spectacular performance of the fish, the reel can only take up slack as the tarpon is forced to swim toward the boat by pumping the rod. There he is, almost near enough to be gaffed, but still capable of another lunging, plunging rush. In fact, they never count a tarpon caught until he's lifeless. Marlin and sailfish are savage fighters, and when they're around, a trolling bait is likely at any time to be hit with the most vicious attack that an aggressive fish can deliver. There's a thrill every second. A terrific strain is put on line and leader, 
He'll break one or the other if that fisherman doesn't give line when he should and take line when he can. At last, over the side, a streamlined package of oceanic TNT. Now the tiger of the deep, the slashing brutal enemy of man and fish alike. The shark. It's a battle now against over a hundred pounds of vicious man killer. It's a fight all the way until the shark gets tired of the struggle. But this is just what he'll do in most cases, because like every bully on land or in the sea, he quits when the going gets really tough. It's during the first 10 or 20 minutes of the battle that the shark plays rough, sometimes with a crash dive fathoms deep, then again a mad rush to thrash about in a frenzy of furious determination on the surface. He carries a real wallop of thrills for the fisherman, up to that point of deciding to call it a day. It's just a matter of hanging on, tiring him out, reeling him in closer and closer until he knows who's boss. Thank you. 